back to another Shields of Shame video everyone. This is Litsy Sarivia, a corrections officer at the Gainesville YDC in Gainesville, Georgia. She was caught having sexual relations with multiple female inmates. She was investigated, fired, and decertified. This is the rest of the story. This is a series spanning three hours of interviews and four hours of jail footage. Be sure to check the description box below to know where you are in the series. Thank you for supporting. Now let's go. Peace. Alright, today's date is 1-28-2021. The time is 10-25. I'm Investigator Adam O'Neill with the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice. I'm a pre-investigator. I'm here with, if you'll state your name for the record. Alicia Saravia. Miss Saravia, you're a you're a JCO here at Gainesville RYDC, is that correct? Yes, sir. How long have you been in that capacity? Certified JCO. I've been certified since July 10th of 2020. Okay. And I've been on the job since March Okay. 2020. So uh, I talked to you briefly off the record. I didn't ask you any questions about this case or nothing like that. I just kind of explained why I'm here and why we're sitting in front of one another. That's basically there's been some criminal allegations made against you and there's some min administrative issues as far as DJJ policy is concerned. But in order for me to ask you direct questions regarding this case, based on the allegations of the criminal issues, I have to read what's called Miranda Warning or Miranda Rights. I guess my first question to you is, why, why do you think there's criminal allegations against you? Why would you think that you're sitting across the table from, from an investigator? And just let, let, me, let me go ahead and throw this out there too. The best thing for you to do is be completely and totally honest. The best thing for you to do is be completely and totally honest. And the reason I say that is, is not to, to threaten you or scare you with anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's just Georgia law and how Georgia law works, okay? So the way Georgia law works, it, it basically says that, that you can't lie to me, okay? You can, but when you do, and I prove it, mm -hmm. it's a felony offense, okay? It's called false statements and rights. Okay, it's a felony because I, this is a criminal matter, right, because of the allegation. Yeah. And there's some tied up administrative issues. So I don't want you to get yourself in trouble by lying. Understand, I explained to you before that I've done a lot of work up to this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, don't lie to me. Just tell me the truth. There's, there don't need to be any secrets. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people. You're, you're the last one I talked to. Okay. okay, just solely based on you're the accused in the case. Um, so be completely forthcoming uh, with information and and what your knowledge is of, of this case. And I'm sure that you have a good idea why I'm sitting here. Yes, sir. Okay, so tell me what's been going on. Mm, you want me to start? Um, you start wherever you feel like you need to start. And if I have any questions along, I'm just going to let you talk and tell me. And if I have any questions along the way, we'll, we'll ask them. Okay. We're here to talk to each other. So tell me, tell me what, what's going on. I believe, we we'll both believe that um, involved juvenile in this case. Um, the officer who did find what she found, she did tell me what had happened. She was allowed to tell me. Um, in all honesty, um, I did what I did. What'd you do? Tell me what you did. Because um, I'm going to be honest with you, I got so much information. Right. I, I want you to tell me what, what's, what, what exactly have you been told? What, what have you been doing? What's up with these kids? That this, what's been going on here with these kids at this facility? Uh, what, 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 what's going on? Um, so I was always placed on the girls' unit um, to observe them. What unit was that? Uh, Delta unit. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so. As I was always placed with them, obviously you get really close to the kids in there because you're always with them and you're always placed there with them. So I've gotten really close with the um, girl juveniles. Um, they did under I, I did understand the boundaries between us and them, and even though we all did get along, I still put a set boundary between them. Um, I would always advise them that this is me and that's you. It's completely different world here. Um, but um, this one juvenile, she would always try to make advances towards me. Who was that? Um, juvenile, I know her last name. Um, she would always make her advances towards me. She would always talk to me about 
those are those certain advances and right um i would always tell her no um i didn't have a significant other at the time so i would advise her that i did have a significant other and we were both from i'm here and you're there and she would get upset about it and i would try to talk to her but mm -hmm. knowing juveniles they're kind of stubborn mm -hmm. um so some days it would be calm and some days she would still try to make those advances um how was she trying to make advances like was it walking up to you talking to you like yes it, explain that to me like how she was trying to make advances towards you she would try to walk up towards me and talk to me and she would make comments um i i when i was with my significant other she would always say you could be with me instead of with them mm -hmm. um just making comments like that um, I would usually ignore them, like I would ignore the situation just because maybe it would die down. Um, but eventually it didn't, so in order to try to talk to her and stuff, um, I would write to her in a piece of paper instead of like always being at her door just talking to her because you can't do that. So I would write notes to her and I would talk to her through that way. Um, some days, um, she would try to like almost threaten me. It wasn't on paper, but she would verbally threaten me. Mm -hmm. um, she said that if I wasn't going along with her, she would try to fight me or do something to me. And she would also comment that she would also try to do something to my significant other um, at the time. Um, so you're no longer with you keep referencing your significant other. Uh, you're no longer with that person. No, sir. Have you ever done anything with uh, you? No, sir. And her first name is. So the allegation that that's been made, I know and can show that you allowed these these specific youth to include her out of her room past the time that they were supposed to be in their room, right? Yes. Sir. And then it seemed like you spent more time with this particular youth than any other youth. Uh, at this time. There's another you that came up that I want you to explain. So the allegation with this with basically is uh, that you, you kissed her. It wasn't no long drawn out. And if it happened, just say it happened. Don't. Like I said, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. That it was just this simple little thing. She explained that you wear your smartwatch to work. Uh, you've shown pictures of your significant other. Like you were very, very personal with, with, with her. It wasn't just her trying to pursue you. Right. It was you were actually you actually had a pretty good rapport with her. The turn for the worst was that y'all kissed. It was one little kiss, from my understanding, yes, and sir. that was it. Yes, sir. Is that true? It is true, but I I just stood there. She just came up on me. No, I understand. I understand. Uh, where did it happen? It happened outside of her room or in her room. In her room. Yes. Was it, what time time of night was it? I have no idea. They were supposed to be in the room? Yes, sir. And you would go over there uh, and actually use a key to unlock their, their room. And then, of course, I'll mention the other youth in a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, and I'm I'm sure, just judging by your expressions, you probably already know where I'm going with with the next youth. All you did was kiss her? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And write letters? Yes. Yes, but what I don't I don't know what is that what y'all referred to as, as letters or y'all was just kind of scribbling back and forth on paper. Was scribbling back and forth. On paper I got you. Oh, was you interested in her? Like, let's just say, if she wasn't at this facility, yes sir, and y'all met in the community, would you would you want a relationship with her? No sir. Okay. This was honestly an honest mistake. And we make mistakes, um, Mr. Robbie. We. We all make mistakes. There's no doubt about that. Some of them worse than others. Yeah. Right? The problem the problem is she's a, she's a kid. She's a juvenile. I understand. If she could be she could be 21 years old at this facility. She's still a kid in DJJ custody. And you you know you know your job. You know what your boundaries are. Did you report her kissing you? No, sir. Did you report her saying threatening you like you said? I don't believe she threatened you. I believe that y'all had a mutual Relationship is what I believe. She would make threatening comments, but I never reported it. <laughs> Why? Because you were interested at the time, or you were just well. Just tell me, tell me. Why. I just, 
Didn't think much of it, honestly. Didn't think much of it, honestly. So it wasn't really of threatening nature to be concerned. Right. It was just kind of like her being hurt. Her being hurt. I guess. And she's pretty blunt. I mean, she's, she, she, she really is blunt. blunt. Like, when, I, when I talked to her, she was really just to the point and that was it. Yeah. So in all this investigative work that I have done, uh, there's another another youth that you, you've done more things with. And this was before. Do you know what, what kid that was? No, sir. Well, you had a really good, you had a better rapport with you than you did, yes, right? From what I know, I do, sir. I mean, I don't think anybody would disagree. She didn't disagree with it. She actually, apparently, really cared about you. Mm. From from what I gather. Um. So what all did you and you do I, while she was here before she left? I just only talked to her. That was pretty much it. Um. She did say. Her and another friend had to say that that she, she was interested in me, but I never did anything with her. The only last thing I did with her was um, I only gave her a hug before she had um, the the day before she said she was going to leave. Uh -huh. So I just hugged her, and that was it. Have you ever been inside her room? Yes, sir. That's when I gave her the hug. Well, you've actually been inside her room more than more than one occasion, and it wasn't just a hug. Y'all had developed feelings for one another. Is that right? Mm, I didn't, sir. You didn't? No. So, tell me tell me why are you not with your significant other anymore? And uh, how do these girls know all about it? Uh, like I said, I was always in that unit, so obviously started getting more along with them. And I try to use like my life to get them to relate to stuff and that everything's going to be like, okay, even though they're in here. And they would ask if I had other relationships, and at the time I had my significant other, so I told them yes. And I would tell them all about it, my relationship. And the reason why my significant other and I are not together is because we have some family issues going on. Mm -hmm. So we both decided that it would be better for us not to be together. So it's not because of these girls? No, sir. How you identify? So they knew this. Yes. These girls knew this. Apparently, just about every girl knew this yes. that, that was back there because you openly talked about things, which to me is too personal. Right. Okay. You, you even said, you know, when all this interview started, you understand boundaries and what boundaries are, and you overstepped them. Now, you said her, she went to Virginia at one point, right? Or West Virginia, I think it was, mm. when, she, when she got sent away from here. Is that right? You remember that? I know she got sent away, well, but you, I didn't know where. Supposedly, you talked to her on the phone and wished her a happy birthday. I did not. Sure. I I gave her my number, mm -hmm. um, so she can contact me to see if she needed anything. Okay. Um, I'll be honest with you on that. Um, don't that that's the only thing. I well, y'all only talked once on the phone. I'm, I'm remember. And that was her birthday. That was around like October. And this, I mean, I understand it's January now, and right. some things may be distorted or whatever. Right. But it's very obvious that your relationship was way closer than this. I mean, I did really care for her, but I never, it was just more than just caring for her and looking out for her. It wasn't anything beyond past you had, that. You didn't touch her? Mm-mm. No, sir. Didn't kiss her? No, sir. No, sir. I... But you're going to kiss a youth that you don't really know and, and going in her room. So you want me to sit here and believe that you're going to go in her room on multiple days and all you did was hug her by on the last day that you was in there. That, that's what you want me to believe. Yes, sir. Okay. Sometimes well, well what, what, what's the real truth? Because what you want me to believe and what the truth is, it's two different stories. I understand, sir. But that, that is the truth. With and that is the truth. They would call me. You never kissed her. No, you never. never so. You never. Um, who else was was interested in is and It seems like there was this big love affair going on at the time with everybody. Everybody just wanted to be with everybody. Yes. To include you. Yes. It seems like there was this big love affair going on at the time with everybody. Everybody just wanted to be with everybody. Yes. To include you yes. being right in the middle of it. So, um, from my understanding, I was supposed to be in love with Yes, sir. And there were some jealousy issues because you go into the guy's room. 
mm-hmm. more than more than some some kids. But why why would you keep going to her and like what was up with? Um, she would always have like these breakdowns kind of thing, and uh, me being the person that I am, I always try to talk to them, make them calm, um, try to give them a little advice to make them feel better. You know that this is not what you know life is all about. Right. Um, that's the only reason why I would really go into these rooms is because they were always either mad, breaking down, crying. I would always try to calm them down and try yeah. to give them a little bit of advice. I got you. So she was always mad. What was she mad about? She would just, she would get mad over the little things that spouses would do. Like she would be really close to another girl in there or she would make more comments to another girl. or she trying would, to flirt with you. Yes. There was jealousy issues. Yeah, jealous, mostly jealousy issues. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I'm just saying how truthful you gonna be about all of it, because um, I know I got the answers to my questions. Yes, sir. I'm just seeing if you're gonna give me my answers that I want. Yes, sir. Do you do you remember talking to her on the phone about her birthday and telling her happy birthday and asking her how? Because apparently you cared a lot about her and her well-being. She got real fast. Yes. Uh, I could understand the the concern of care. Like I I I get it. Mm-hmm. Like. But there again, we got boundary issues. Right. But at the same time, I understand what you're what you're saying as far as caring. But do you recall, you know, wishing her a happy birthday on the phone? Um, I don't recall over the phone. I do remember her sending her just a text message. To your phone? Yes. What did she say? Um, she just said, from what I remember, just thank you. And that's the phone that you have now. That's um, the only communication that that y'all had. Yes. Is on on the phone that you have now. It, Whatever number you gave me. Uh, yes, it's, a, it's the same phone number. Yes, sir. Would you talk to them like when you when you wasn't at work? Would you talk to as far as I don't I don't I don't know, but uh, would you talk to her like on your off days and she called from the facility? Would she call from the facility to talk to you? No, sir. Did you write her note? No, sir. You didn't. Not you don't, that I recall. Or you don't remember. I don't remember. She said y'all did. Not that she remember. I mean, she knew a lot about you. Uh, that that tells me y'all were. She knew more. Than and why? Here's here's my thing. You're admitting about right, mm-hmm. and I'm glad you're doing that because uh, that that gives me a sign of truth, right? Yes, sir. That's what I call hope. <laughs> why would you lie about any of it? Like you're already telling me that you're past the point of a JCO now. So you become personal, all right. So you're past that point of doing your fulfilling your duties properly, right? Mm-hmm. So why not just tell me what went on? Because I know y'all had a, a better working relationship than anybody did, and she cared about you a lot. Like, why would she? What benefit does she have to sit here and tell me in detail the relationship that y'all had? She has no benefit. She like literally none. I. I really don't know why she would tell you all that, sir. But I tell you right now, I never touched her in any way in what she describes. The day before she left the facility, is that, that when you hugged her? Yes, sir. How'd you hug her? I just hugged her with um, one arm like that around her. Inside her, her room? Yes, sir. All right, so, and, and I understand understand this is a sexual case, so some of this might might be explicit, but it's not to be. I'm just going to tell it like it is. And... She basically said the last day that she was here, which is the day you're alleging that you were inside her room, that that's the day that you actually, one 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 of the days that you actually, and then uh, you had also uh, on multiple, there had been incidents where you had, or she had done it to you. And and so here here's my question, is obviously I know there's more of a relationship than JCO to youth at this point, right? I already know that. If this happened, it's not going to change the out. Like, let's just say there's criminal charges brought on you. Okay, it's not going to change the dynamic of of the case. Right. It's just a matter of you being honest. And if you're charged with this, me being able to say, "Yes, sir, she was honest with me." You know, stand before it, or, or you want the whole. No, nah, she's lying, and she's honest about this, but she's lying about this. You know, uh, like I said, now is your time to tell your story, but you need to tell it right. You don't need to tell it wrong, tell it right. 
So what benefit does she have telling me that? And then and then I got footage of y'all back back when she was here. Like I done went back on the cameras and stuff. So so why why lie about that? I swear to you, sir, I'm not lying about that. I would never I would never go like that with the juvenile. That that's but, I have no idea why she would make those uh, why she would say that to you. Well she didn't have a reason to lie to me. Because it wasn't, there's, here's the thing with them, all right, and they know this. They have no worry about getting in trouble. Right. They can do what they want to do. When you come in there and you decide that you want to have a relationship with a kid, kiss them, whatever, it doesn't matter. They don't get in trouble, right? They know that. Mm -hmm. So what is the benefiting factor for her to sit here and, now, now mind you, this is, this is a young female sitting across the table from me. A man, right? And, and so, if if the untruthfulness was there and and it didn't exist, there would be some uncomfortableness, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you say so? Like it, it would be uncomfortable. And she seemed like, uh, I kind of want to tell him, but I kind of don't. And she she even told me that. She was like, I really, because she she said she cared enough about you, she didn't want you to get in trouble. And she didn't even know that. Matter of fact. It wasn't even alleged in this case. It was it was brought to my attention by other kids. Now now we're in a predicament, right? Yes, sir. We have all these kids saying that you had a relationship with you. We got some that you've kissed, which is practically a relationship. It's not necessarily a full blown sexual relationship, but it's definitely an issue, right? Yes, sir. It's unprofessional. Now we have who sits here and tells me, yes, it's absolutely true. I've, I've read verbatim, that's quotations of things that, that she told me y'all did. So what benefit, you tell, I want you to tell me what benefiting factor would you have to sit across from the table and just make this up about you? Well, I already know that y'all were, y'all talked and communicated. Yes, sir. Why would she lie about that? And then when, when she communicated with you after she left in, on the phone, right? text message phone call whatever it might have been it, everything was good that 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 establishes y'all's relationship right? right beyond just just jco to you that establishes y'all's relationship for her to care enough and you to care enough to know what's going on with her outside of this facility lets me know that there has to be more than just a hug goodbye okay like it's up to you. You, if you're not lying, then then fine. But if you are lying, understand at the end of this, there may be the opportunity for you to take a polygraph test, and that would be voluntary on your end as far as whether you want to or not, to help prove that you hadn't done them things to her. Mm. You know, but but it can also prove that you have. Right. So I would rather you just tell me now that if it has. That way we, you know, if we want to go through that process, we will. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. But I would rather you just sit here and keep it real with me because that's what I'm here to do. I ain't here, I ain't here to tear you down. Yes, we, I, done it, I done told you. We make mistakes. We do stupid stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we're like, dang, why did I do that? You know, yes. and we, were, we have regrets. There's no doubt. We all do things that we regret. Okay. So if it's something you regretted and you're scared to talk about, it, then you need to tell me. And get it, get it, get it off of you, because otherwise, I'm I'm gonna get it out at, at some point. I've already, it's already out. It ain't it ain't like it's not out. It's out there. Right. Just be honest about it. I've never done those things with her. Um, heard other or the other juvenile girls in there. They did say that there was something going around saying that I did those stuff to her, but I never done those stuff to her. I always told them that never happened. Before. Any I love yous, any. No, sir. So the only th only thing you're saying has ever happened was just is just. Why? Well, I mean, why? Because it, it seemed like you had a better relationship. I, was it was fan like was was the home life playing a role in some of this or no, sir. the troubles at home and kind of falling subject to to a kid or you were just. I mean, I, I'm trying to understand why we would neglect our duties as a JCO and and put that all aside. For a kid that you, I mean, y'all didn't know, what, maybe 12 days, maybe, that y'all knew each other? Uh, it wasn't long. So why her? 
why why would you do it with her but you wouldn't do it with, like what was the dynamic there Ex- explain that like there was no dynamic i don't know why it's just sudden yes sudden mistake sudden mistake oh uh, what about samuels lieutenant samuels have y'all had a relationship just co-worker worker relationship are you sure <laughs> yes sir all right we let me ask you this uh and we'll, and we'll talk more about samuels in a minute because that came up too. It's like every door I'd open, six more would open. Okay? Because that's, that's what happens, Mr. Ravio, when, when you're unprofessional. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. This is the kind of stuff that happens. All this stuff you had to deal with, with uh, girls talking or people talking mm-hmm. that you're saying that they were doing, mm-hmm. it's because the unprofessionalism's there. When you're doing your job and and you're doing it the right way, you're not gonna have near the talk like that. But it, right. when you got things going on, th- these kids see everything. Right. They see everything. When you think they don't see it, they see it, right? Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of sometimes that somebody from Atlanta drives up and they just happen to talk to them. Right. They may not trust people here, but they trust people outside this facility a lot of times. Right. And they're very open, right? So you've created that for yourself, and that's what made it hard for you. 